Growing up in the 90s, you could fit 20 games on a few kilobytes of space. Today, you would be laughed at. One such game was Caesar. In this game, you would build up a city for the Roman Empire in which you would have to meet certain trade and military objectives. You would build a house. It would have needs. You would fulfill the needs. And the house evolves into a more advanced type with its own set of needs. A more modern take on this game is Anno. And then comes along Leftist Path of Progress, which has its simple graphics and limited worlds to try and recreate that feel of Caesar. With Anno, you had one massive map. With Lethus, you have a smaller map, but the ability to trade between other smaller maps. So, it has a lot of elements that will be familiar to some and unusual to others. You lay down your house and people move in. They complain that they want something and you fulfill it. If you fulfill enough demands, they move up to the next tier, which has its own set of demands, and so on and so forth. The challenge in the game comes with the tiers. Each time a house evolves, it can fit more people. You have to maintain all your old demands while facilitating new ones. This particular version of the story involves pathing of various carts to bring resources to buildings. You need to have structures positioned properly to hit the entire population for maximum effect. This can mean some fierce city planning skills in which the challenge will come with min-maxing your city. The game comes with a fairly large campaign tutorial that will bring you through all the basics of the game, including building, chains, trade, and infrastructure. It's a $20 game, and everyone has to wonder, what's the catch? The catch is it's 2015. This is the year of crappy buggy releases, and this game is no exception. Getting through the tutorial means going through constant crashing. The lack of a loading screen will make you think that your game is always crashing when loading. When you go to the borders of the world, you will see outer space, despite it being a world map. The thing is, the developers more or less know they messed up. They put out an apology and indicated they are working on the game. When you load up the game, it asks you that you not use Intel-based video cards and that a built-in video card is actually the preferred. The gameplay is good, it's just not ready for launch. I'm not saying don't buy it ever, but right now it's just not playable. 